Okay, I'm going to do a little do-it-yourself hack. I'm going to get the little pocket sluice set up in a little recirculating tub for the sink to run a little pay dirt. And everybody's got one of these little ice cream buckets. And I'm going to put it in one of these and make it so that you can run your pockets loose and run some paint dirt through it in the sink this Christmas as the lights are twinkling and you get your little bag of paint dirt. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do kind of what I did on the other one. I'm going to draw a line down the side here with my marker to get the you know, cut cut it out so it'll slide down in there at an angle and we'll be able to spill some water in here and be able to run some material. So I got the precision pocket knife out. Making this precision medical cut here in the ice cream bucket. You know, we don't want to do this unless we're a licensed surgeon. <laughs> So, this guy cut. It's out for the old fingers. Alright. So we can set our sluice in here. And then we will run some water in it. I'm going to cut a hole in the back of this thing so that the water spills out before the... the um, the it goes up to the top of the level of the bottom of the sluice. So what the goal is is to get the water to spill out before it um uh, fills up and starts backing up the back of the sluice. Okay, like I said, you got to be you know, precision cutting here. This is, this is, as you can see, this is all been calibrated and engineered. Okay, there's the bucket, the hole in the back. Um, I cut, I sacrificed a McDonald's Go Cup that my wife likes to collect because the kids like to destroy them. And I, that's basically stopping this from going down too far. I'm just setting this guy on here. Going to push that up just tight up against the sink there. It's not like we're going to have a complete liquid seal there, you know. We're going to have to rely on, you know, just having fun rather than being totally technical. I'm going to turn on some water. Apply that pressure to that super liquid type seal, you know. A little bit of water is going out of it. There I am. I'm ready to sluice. So I'm going to get my pay dirt that I got from an early holiday present. I got one at, a, one, one at a grumpy Santa Christmas party. And I got one sent to me from uh, a distributor. And I'm going to run some dirt through here. And here's my do-it-yourself in the sink ice cream bucket. Basically, um, uh, unicorn sluice hack. All right. So I got some from Mountain West Mining, some premium colt pay dirt. I asked them to send me some of this miner's moss. And why would the prospector dream guy or dream at need some miner's moss? Well, I got an idea coming up. You guys are going to see next spring to incorporate some cool features. Um, and I won this little uh, at the Grumpy Santa. I got a cool pocket knife, real nice pocket knife. A little bag of this local guy in um, Topo Deep. Um, uh, pay dirt, so I'm gonna pay dirt. So I'm gonna run that in my little sluice and we'll see how it goes. All right, I got my Topo Deep uh, pretty wet, got a little bucket of it. And I got me a little spoon. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feed it in.
spoon right out of the kitchen drawer. My wife is probably mad that I'm doing this video right next to her rack of dishes that are in the sink that someone may have seen. Yep, we're normal people, we do dishes too. Let's we'll take a look. See if we can see anything. It's kind of hard in this inside light in the evening. I see something right in the upper cell, right in that corner. Boy, the focus sure isn't. There it is. Well, let's just dump it out in this pan. Swish it around. This is clean. We know it cleans up that easy. And I'm gonna this dirt I spilt. Get that in there. See that we it just ran out in there. Pretty slick little deal. And then we'll just take this inside panning bad lighting for the evening with all these soft light white bulb light bulbs well, let's see what the old topo deeps got to say there it is I'm gonna set up the camera so we can see the pan and it not move. Some pretty goofy photography for the evening with not much good lighting but there it is there's our little topo deep and more importantly there's our nice little pickers there more importantly there's our little little hack you know we got the lid with the cut and a cup in there to kind of brace it up and a hole in the back and we're just gonna feed that some dirt and Press that up against there, and we'll feed their bag of dirt through it just for fun. Just take a look at it, and I'm uh, excuse the bad lighting, but you know, just fun stuff in the sink when you're sitting around in the evening and the Christmas, and the music is playing. You can run your dirt and run your sluice and see what the recovery is. And we'll rerun the cons just to see what we missed, just for fun. All right, I brought in some more light. That'll help out a little bit. May not help out with you spilling, but you know. This is what it is. Here's our dirt from Mountain Mining West. Boy, it's got a lot of black sands in it. So, we're going to trickle this into here.
Ah, little bit over the side. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep it down here more towards the bottom. So my skater don't loop up towards the side. full blast on my sink, so I'm kind of limited by my water flow. Well, this dirt is just like black sand crazy. See how the sluice does handling all this black sand, you know, when it's basically exchanged in and throwing stuff off. You can see we got some rocks in here. I'm just gonna throw that rock out with my finger. I think that's gold there. I see gold. With my inadequate flow, we'll see how good the sluice does in catching gold. Got one for your kid, your kid can feed it, you know, the sluice, and you can have some fun setting it up. My kids are watching puppy training on TV right now. Um, they think mom's gonna get a puppy for Christmas, and they're watching puppy videos on how to train puppies. We'll go ahead and pause this and refill up my bucket with dirt. Alright, we're back after picking up a little bit of my mess and putting the next batch of dirt in the bucket. There's a little tail. That was a, quite a bit. I think I don't know how many pounds that was. Maybe it was a two pounds, I don't know. Um, but anyways, it was their premium gold pay dirt, their gold reserve. Uh, guaranteed over two grams of gold. We'll see. Um, so oh boy, this is still nothing but black sand, so let's continue to feed the rest of this in here. Ah, I spilled again. This is a spiller. A little adjustment here, my loose moves. There we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. Had some deal with that. <laughs> Whip it out with a pocket knife adjustment, you know, with my little sluice feel here. Put it right in there. So the bucket below, of course, acts like a safety pan because it, you know, just drops the dirt out and you don't have to worry about them uh, losing it down the sink, of course. You know, that would be bad. You know, just in case you had a little accident or something didn't go right. So, I'm going to steal some water. Sluice in the last little bit. Hopefully I can do it this time without spilling all over. But, you know, probably screwed up again.
looked at it all, every little bit. All right, let's turn down the water here. And we'll see what we got. Well, there it is. There's some bling. Woohoo! Awesome. Got my super studio spotlight here. Get it out of the way. Alright, so there's the little sluice. It's got dripping on the floor. Oh, I guess I'll have to clean it up. Look at that. My wife was here. She'd just be looking at me like I got something wrong in my head. So there's some gold up top. Most of it was caught up top. There's a gold, gold in that what, second to the last row there. I can see it. Anyways, let's go ahead and let's put her in the pan. Get a little water in there. So this is clean. We know how that works. I need to clean up my mess on the floor. And I'm going to do that real quick before the wife walks in. Because we know how that is, guys. Better clean up the mess on the floor before I pan out the gold. We need priorities here. All right, let's get this panned out. Well, black sand's in there. So all the cons produced from the sluice, but uh, you know, I would say a level tablespoon. All right, let's shift this back. See what we get. Woohoo! Man, that big, that piece is so big it's rolling. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Nice piece of gold there. Look at that. Let's speak. And there it is, folks. Boy, that inside light just doesn't want me to focus. You know, I'm not trying to clean off the lens on this thing. Maybe it's the lens on the iPad. Well, maybe it's just the indoor stuff. Well, there it is. There's our premium. Right there from... There it is. I'll have to weigh that later on and see what's all in it. Okay, let's rerun the dirt and see what I lost just really quick since we're such a short video. Well, here we are again for the second run, and we'll speed things up. We'll speed things up on the camera just to make it quick. There we are. Are you going to see any gold in that top cells? Well, I don't see any right now. So, I spilt a little. You can see I got kind of excited there. That was spasmatic. But, you know, it happens. Alright, let's take this guy out. Put her in the pan here. I didn't see any gold in that, those cells. That's a good thing. Stream that's all about. Let's get a little water over here.
Uh oh, got the sink dirty. Here, let's set this up so we can pan out. Loose clean. Clean off my bucket. Wash it into the down the hatch so we catch it. Well, let's see what Dream Map missed and me slopping stuff in there, and I probably didn't see it on the. The feeding because it's hard to see with all this bad light, but there are a couple big spoonfuls I threw in there that built up that sluice pretty good. So I would expect to see some gold because it was like way more than what it could hold. It was a big spoonful. And here we are. I ain't seen a single hint yet. Yeah, let's get that black sand, that cream, so to speak, back down in there. Try one more time. There's got to be a speck in there. Not everything catches at all. Especially when you're sloppy as I was, but maybe we had a good run. Oh, geez. This is awesome. Alright, let's get over here. Let's take a look. Waiting for that speck just to tell me it's a piece of gold. Oh wow! I would have never, I would have guessed that we would have had a nice couple, actually even a little piece of gold in there because I fed it so sloppily on top of the the sluice and it was so full. But it processed it, so there's the super do-it-yourself unicorn ice cream super hack for the sink. Guys, have fun. I just felt like having a little fun. I'm a kid at heart. Life's too short. Go out there and get some yellow. Or get some in your stocking. You know, pocket sluice. You hear it calling you, don't you? You can hear the little unicorn nay-nay, huh? <laughs> Guys, have a great Christmas.